In a distant future, the country of Bangladesh was known for its vast cities, towering over lush plains and sparkling rivers. But the rivers had begun to rise, swelling beyond their banks. The rains, once a blessing, turned relentless, drumming down day and night. The season crouched, swallowing the shores, and the rivers merged with the ocean in a deadly embrace. The government ordered evacuations, but the waters rose faster than the people could flee. Villages were submerged, and cities became islands. The air was filled with the drone of helicopters, the hum of rescue boats, and the desperate cries of those stranded on rooftops. Bangladesh, once a land of prosperity, was drowning. In the capital, a young woman named Lyra clung to hope. She had spent weeks searching for her family, moving from one flooded district to another. The streets were now canals, where people paddled in makeshift rafts, and buildings crumbled into the depths. But Lyra was determined. She believed her parents were still alive, waiting for her in the heart of the city, where the waters were deepest. She navigated through the ruins her small boat barely holding against the current. The sky was a never-ending gray, the sun hidden behind thick clouds. As she reached the city center, she saw it, a massive, ancient tree, one of the few things still standing. Its roots were submerged, but its branches stretched high, offering a haven above the flood. Climbing the tree, she found her parents huddled among the branches, exhausted but alive. They had been waiting, hoping she would come. Tears of relief mingled with the rain as they embraced. As night fell, the family watched the endless sea that had once been their home. They knew that Bangladesh was lost, but in each other, they had found the strength to survive. Together, they would search for higher ground, for a new beginning beyond the flood.